they're so in love. They say they die for each other. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Don't worry, folks. This time it'll work out okay for them, I promise. I know you're worried. But there is danger ahead. Tell me, yo, Simity visitors, what are some of the most dangerous things you think that you could do in Yosemite? Feed the bears. Feed the bears. Stay away from the bears. They have enough food, right? They're one of the most, the, the smartest species of bears in Northern America. But even a kitten, if you get close and you start, it's going to scratch you, right? Stay away from bears. What else? No shortcuts. Exactly. The trails are there for a reason. You may, you may not believe this, but people have been visiting here for 150 years. You're not the first one. The trails are there for a reason. Yes, what else? Stay out of the meadows. Stay out of the meadows. Same thing. So there are, there are birds and there are rodents that have nests down under there. So even, even though it looks like a whole field of grass, you could be stepping on them. You could be stepping into a hole and you could twist your ankle. Right? So all kinds of things. However, what I want to talk about tonight is swiftly moving water. Yeah. Stay away from swiftly moving water. Is especially after an enormous snow year like we've had this year. And especially stay away from the tops of waterfalls. This is, yeah, foreshadowing. <laughs> this is life-saving advice. Listen to me. Fiery Tybalt is not following this advice. <laughs> Join us now atop Vernal Fall. Use your imagination. <laughs>
seconds I'll take with me the memories to be my sunshine after the rain. But it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. A plague on both your houses! It became worse for me to my brother! Romeo, Romeo, thanks for Romeo, dead! Tybalt, the rangers have expressly forbidden walking into running water. That and all of the other things you've been doing to endanger yourself, others, and the parks, plants, and animals. Benvolio, your friend, has got his mortal hurt on my behalf. Wait. My reputation is stained! Here comes Ranger Miriam and Mom. Now, Tybalt, tell the Ranger what you did, the death you caused, for Benvolio's soul is but a little ways above our heads. Oh, I am fortune's fool! I charge you, obey! Who where are the vile beginners of this fray? Oh, dear Ranger, I will reveal all of the unlucky conduct of this fatal fall. <coughs> there lies the man, slain by young Tybalt. He tried to save her life after she risked it recklessly. His death is her fault. Benvolio! He's like a nephew to me. My friend's child! What will I tell her? My dear boy. My dear, dear boy. Mercutio, who began this bloody fray? Tybalt did this obey. She stood on a rock in the river, but the current proved too strong. Then Bolio jumped in and tried to rescue her. This is the truth. I beg for justice, which you, Ranger, must give. Tybalt broke the rules. Tybalt must be banished from the park. <laughs> we also have documentation of her other reckless behaviors. Hunting birds. Painting on rocks. Damaging plants. And littering. <laughs> These are what we call resource crimes. And for all offenses immediately do we exile her hence yes. you can't do this i will be deaf to pleading and excuses well then you must know you must know then that i have seen romeo killing animals too those bullfrogs near the wani hotel i saw it tybalt you have no clue what you're talking about those bullfrogs are an invasive species. I humanely kill them to protect the red-legged frogs. I'm trying to bring them back. Nor tears, nor prayers shall purchase out excuses, therefore use none. Romeo, you are given notice to appear for a possible banishment as well. <coughs> Tybalt, you must leave today. Ooh. 